Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marlene. Welcome to my channel, bitch. Do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell right next to it so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. A brand new video. A brand new video. As you guys can read by the title, today I'm going to be doing a chin lipo update. It's been officially two weeks. Actually, today marks two weeks officially. Um that I got my procedure done and I'm so happy that I did it. I know you guys had some questions that you guys wanted to know and I went ahead and asked you guys on Instagram to leave me your questions so I can answer them here. So if you guys are interested in getting a little update of my procedure and seeing before and after pictures, then please keep on watching. I look a little bit crazy because I'm still wearing the garment, but I am going to be taking it off during the video to show you guys my results so far. But I want to start off with the first question that I got a lot in my Instagram, which was why did I decide to do this procedure? And I talked about it a little bit in the first video where I showed you guys my whole experience, which by the way, if you guys haven't watched it, you guys can go watch that. One of the main reasons why I got this procedure was because I didn't like the extra fat that I had under my chin. Um, I just didn't like how it looked in pictures, off guard, when people would take videos of me, when I would be laughing, you were able to tell. And I just didn't like that about myself. It's something that I've always had. Um, and I remember one time I did notice it and I was like, oh my God, dude, like I wish I could, you know, get this procedure done. And it was just in the back of my head. I just never brought it up to anybody until literally like a couple months ago, I told my boyfriend, I'm like, dude, this is bothering me and it's been bothering me and I want to get it done. And, you know, I'm lucky enough to have parents, a boyfriend, family, friends that support my decisions and are very positive about anything I want to do with my body and i also do have you guys as well you guys always send me positive messages um so i appreciate that a lot because i honestly don't think i'd be able to go through this alone you know the second question was were you awake during the procedure and what was the pain level like so i was awake during the procedure um they did put me under local anesthesia and I didn't feel anything. The only thing that I felt was some pressure on my chin area because obviously they are doing the light ball on you. They did, however, cover my eyes. So when I was laying down, um, I was covered up with like this blue paper and I wasn't able to see anything. The doctor was very nice and he was guiding me through everything. He told me step by step how it was gonna go. So basically first, I think they put like a little bit like an injection I'm not, I forgot what he told me it was. I don't know the medical terms for them, but it was an injection that he put right here. I guess it was like to make the little incision that he did, um, which I will talk about scarring later. But he did the little incision and then after that didn't hurt. And then after he applied the anesthesia with a needle as well, and he did tell me that I was gonna feel a burning sensation i'm not gonna lie to you guys i did freak out a little bit because i thought he was going in right away with doing the lipo and i did stop him and i was like because i could feel a little bit burning sensation and a little bit of pain maybe like a two out of ten and i was like wait hold up what is he putting inside of me because i could literally feel it so i was like wait wait wait, wait. and i i kind of stopped him he's like what was that? And then I'm like, are you already going with lipo? Are you already starting the procedure? And he's like, no, 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 I'm applying the anesthesia. And then I was like, oh, okay. But I was like, okay, Marlene, like you're overthinking it. Just calm down, let him do his thing. Like he's a doctor. He has more than 14 years of experience. So chill. <laughs> so I just like let him do his thing. He told me that um, I was going to feel a little bit of pressure. And right when he started injecting the anesthesia i could feel like getting numb and i was like oh okay like now he's gonna start with the procedure after that um he took the laser and he told me that he was gonna melt the fat inside of me and the laser was gonna help to tighten the skin so he went in and he told me you're gonna feel a little bit of movement you won't feel pain but you are gonna hear and feel some popping sensations that's just your fat melting and i was like okay 
which is exactly what I felt. Um, that took like about 10 minutes. After that, um, he did it, went ahead and told me, okay, right here, now you're gonna feel a lot of movement because I'm gonna go ahead and suck all the fat out, which I did. He was going in. Girl, he was going in. When I tell you he was going in, he was going in. And I was like, oh my God. And that did make me a little nervous just because of the movement. And I'm personally, I'm a very nerviosa person. That's just how I am. Like, that's just how I am. But it didn't hurt at all. And after that, it was all done. It took like maybe like another 10 minutes and it was all done, girl. I was like, what? He's like, you're all done. Me puso un curita. He put this garment on right away. And they did um, told me, okay, you can um, lay back up um, slowly because obviously I was a little bit dizzy. Even my boyfriend was shook because he's like, oh my God, you're done that fast. And I was like, I know, right? And no pain after. Obviously, I was still numb. Um, they did give me medication, which I did take like a day after and two days after that i took for two days straight just a tiny bit um they told me to take it slow and just take half of the pill because they are strong so they were like take half of the pill and if you think you need more then take the other half which i did and i don't think i needed more than half i would take like half a medio dia and then the other half like during the night and honestly guys after that it was a piece of cake literally the only uncomfortable thing that i will tell you guys that i hated the most was wearing the garment sleeping with the garment they do tell you not to sleep with a pillow um because you have to keep this elevated they also do tell you that if you're gonna be on your phone you have to be like this because you can't be like this <laughs> regarding the garment i did have to wear it for two weeks one week 24 7 and the second week whenever i'm home so if I was going to go out, he did tell me that I was able to take it off. Um, I did go out on Friday, which was a day after my first week. And I did go out for most of the day, so I had it off. And I felt so bad, dude. I was like, not bad as in pain, but I felt bad because I'm like, dude, I'm supposed to be wearing my garment. So I know today is the end of my second week and I'm able to take it off. But I'm going to go an extra day tomorrow, wear it as well. Um, to make up for that day that I didn't wear. Someone did ask me pain and discomfort after the surgery. So I basically just clarified that. It was just the garment. That was the only discomfort I had. You know, you have to get used to sleeping with it. Um, having it all day. And yeah. Did you experience any numbing after? So currently, it's still very much numb. When I take this off and I touch it, um, it is still numb. I'm not sure how long this will last. But that's just... A regular feeling that you have after lipo i remember when i got my bbl i felt the same way like whenever i would take out my faja i would feel numb it's just like the impact that lipo has in your body you just feel numb for a couple of weeks i believe i'll keep you guys updated and let you guys know when the numbness goes away but as of now i am very much numb girl what was the pre-care like so i did go ahead and ask them if there was any restrictions with drinking before the procedure like weeks before the procedure because i was gonna be going to mexico and i was like inga so like i don't know if i'm able to drink or not they told me no restrictions to drinking only smoking no smoking two weeks prior which honestly i was just really concerned about the drinking part <laughs> and i did go ahead and ask twice because i'm like wait are you sure miss girl no but I did went ahead and asked twice and they did clarify to me. They just told me to not drink 24 hours before. They also did tell me to come the day of the procedure with no makeup on, no jewelry, and to eat a light meal before the procedure. That they actually prefer you to eat a light meal um, because of the anesthesia. You guys also did ask me if I have any scars. Um, the only scar that I have... Okay, let me go ahead and take this off already so I can actually show you guys how it's looking, how it's healing and the scar that i want you guys to see it's literally like a small incision that they made but this is how she's looking girlies as you guys can see she is snatched i literally love my results is it worth it yes it's worth it at least for me girl i don't have to worry about my bad side anymore like you can take pictures from here you can take pictures from over here 
and you can't see anything like there's no more fat here and as to the healing the bruises already went away this is only from like the garment that i have because i do have to keep it tight but this is the incision i don't know if you guys can see it uh right there can you guys see it yeah right here that small incision that's all literally it's under the chin so you can't even see it at all um they did give me a crema like a little cream for the scarring to go away and i am applying it um they told me to let it heal first like let it scab and then once the scab falls start applying the cream so i'm already applying it but yeah ladies what do you guys think i feel like she looks good i know you guys were also asking about the massages if i need to get any done after the procedure my doctor didn't tell me anything he just told me to like massage this bottom part um every day and just apply pressure to it i feel like i am gonna start getting some massages done but i'm gonna ask him first before i get them done but definitely i'm gonna start massaging it on my own just so everything heals good as to my doctor i did went ahead and put his information in my last video so if you guys are interested you guys could go check that out one of the other questions that you guys asked a lot was if i had any restrictions with eating like what i could eat what i could not eat if it hurt to chew swallow etc um i didn't have any restrictions i actually i was shook and i even googled it because i was like wait a minute i don't have any restrictions on eating and it said the same thing you don't have any restrictions with eating like you can eat whatever you want obviously you have to be careful because sometimes i was me pasaba dude i would be eating like whatever and sometimes i couldn't eat good because it would not hurt me but i would just feel uncomfortable chewing like i would be too concerned like oh my god and at times it would i would get a little bit of pain and I was like, well, obviously, dude, I'm like in Chada. I have a garment on. And I'm over here trying to eat whatever, like eat crunchy stuff. I'm like, no, girl, you got to chill. So I started eating more soft food, just like pasta, soups, stuff that was chewy and doable for me. Um, then after a while, I was like, okay, I'm just going to eat whatever now. And to finish off the video, the question that was the most common was how much did it cost? This procedure does have a cost of $5,000. They did give me the garment. They did give me the medication um, as well as some pomadas to apply, um, some arnica. And yeah, I am going to be putting the update of the pictures right here of the before, the three-day post-op and the now, which is two weeks after. I'm very happy with my results. I love how it looks so far and I know that it's only going to get better because it's still swollen, girl. Like I can literally feel that it's still swollen. Thank you guys so much for watching and also thank you guys for all your sweet messages, all of your support, all of your positivity. And if you guys have any other questions that you guys may have of the procedure, i'll be more than happy to answer them in the comment section down below but with that being said if you guys enjoyed this video do not forget to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one bye